What's going on everyone and welcome back to another video. So this week I wanted to talk about my job as an ORC or an organized retail crime investigator. Working in ORC is one of the many facets of working as a private investigator and it plays a huge part in mitigating some of the reach of criminal enterprises. So now I just want to get this out of the way. Working as a PI isn't always about walking around with a big coat with a slipping hat and smoking a pipe majority of the time you are going to be wearing whatever you need for that specific situation. With ORC pretty much being the big brother of loss prevention, you need to learn how to cope with your environment and how to fit in. When I went to the company's initial training last July, I showed up wearing a nice button-up, some nice jeans, and some nice new chukka boots. The other four people in my class were dressed very similarly, however when the instructor Leo finally showed up, he looked to be like, I guess any other John you would see out on the street. He was pretty much wearing a ripped up t-shirt, some ripped up jeans, a questionably stained hoodie, and some old Jordan Spizikes. Again, one of the first things that he did stress was that you want to dress for your specific situation. And since he was just following up with a case in a not so nice neighborhood, he wanted to wear something that wouldn't bring attention to himself. And this is something that is integral to working as a PI. One of the biggest things is that you need to blend into your environment. And this wasn't my first time actually working as an investigator, as before this I was working as a medical claims investigator for one of my old companies. However, my department ended up getting dissolved after they decided that they wanted to go with contracted agents rather than in-house. However, from transitioning from the field of medical claims investigations to ORC, it did take a little bit of time. So for five months, I was working for a consulting company doing global hazard management. But luckily, after that job, I was back to the field of investigations and I was picked up a local risk management company. Now, I was initially hired to be a plainclothes mid-level physician investigator working as a field agent. However, this was all during the time of the second wave of COVID, and because I was working in the hospitals during my nursing school rotations, I did request to be placed at a work from home position. The company, being understanding of my situation, ended up making me what is known as an investigator recorder, meaning that I only had to go into the field a few times per month. The job that I was transitioned into was there to pretty much finalize reports, follow up with law enforcement, and provide evidence to the contracted company as well as the specific account holder for prosecution. But luckily, we do have a pretty big designated group of field agents, so meaning that I only had to go into the field a handful of times. But now I'm getting back into it, just what is ORC? Now, the National Retail Federation, or NRF, defines ORC as groups, gangs, or individuals who are engaged in illegally obtaining retail merchandise through threat through theft and fraud in substantial quantities as part of a commercial enterprise. The Organized Retail Crime Act of 2008 defines it as the acquiring of retail merchandise by illegal means for the purposes of reselling the items. And according to the Coalition Against Organized Retail Crime, ORC refers to the offense wherein individuals who are associated with a professional crime ring steal large quantities of merchandise and resell it onto the marketplace. I actually took an online criminal investigation certification uh, course not too long ago so a lot of my information that I am going to be going over the video, I got from there. So overall, ORC is a big problem that is very different from things such as petty theft, as it can be used to fund criminal enterprises. Now, while looking at ORC as a whole, there are huge intricacies that make the entire operation of the criminal enterprise work. Now, at the ground level, you have boosters, and boosters are pretty much professional shoplifters who steal or illegally obtain merchandise. And the next tier above boosters is what is known as fences. Now, fences will pay boosters for the illegal or illicit goods and will sell them to winning or unwitting customers or potential businesses, especially pawn shops. And at the very top of the totem is going to be the kingpins. The kingpins will use the funds gained from ORC to fund other operations as well, such as drugs, prostitution, and other their illicit activity. So just how do we combat this? The biggest way that we combat this is through ORC investigators who work in cohesion with local and state police, uh, loss prevention staff, and other staff at the businesses that we protect. And I know it's easy to overlook the loss prevention staff that have the crappy vests on that say loss prevention across the back, but they are integral to our work and play a huge part in helping us. Now the loss prevention staff will actually perform their apprehensions if they do know that a person is actively stealing, and if it is a petty theft case then for the most part they are going to let them go off with a warning and will just have them on a blacklist where they are no longer allowed to shop there, but if it is a more serious offense then they will follow up with our company or another risk management company. And from there if a person is determined to be part of the organized retail crime corporation or organization then that's where our work really begins. 
we start off by building our case. This is done by determining our subject, uh, other associated personnel, and other boosters. And when I'm talking about other associated personnel, it doesn't even have to be other boosters that the person is involved with. It could also be people that are from the retail setting that are assisting this person. For the most part, if a person is stealing in large quantities, that typically does mean that they are having insider help. And from there, you need to interview the actual people working at the business. From there, we interview and interrogate everyone. This is typically done by using the Wicklander and Zalowski technique. Once we're able to determine their fences and location of potential products that are going missing, that's when we move forward with contacting the proper authorities. For the smaller cases, we typically follow up with things such as local or state police, but for the bigger cases, we would have to move forward and talk to the FBI, if possible, or sometimes even the DHS if we know that uh, drugs and human smuggling are involved. And this is pretty much where our part of the operation ends. And we can't really follow up and ask for more information in regards to the case just because once it leaves our jurisdiction, then it moves up to the next link in the chain of custody. But that's pretty much the TLDR of what we as ORC investigators really do. We compile information and evidence of criminal acts and we allow law enforcement to pretty much do their takedowns and their subsequent arrests. And if we're lucky, we can contribute to things such as RICO and take down entire criminal organizations. And what I've heard from our higher level investigators like Leo that I mentioned earlier, he has been able to uh, assist law enforcement with the execution of a warrant. So hopefully one day I'll be able to do so as well. But overall, working in this field is fun, rewarding, and it gives me a sense of pride knowing that I contribute to something greater than myself. I feel similarly when I work in the field of EMS just because I know I contribute to societies and save lives. All right, well, that's gonna do it for this week. So if you guys like what you saw, please like, comment, subscribe, and make sure to hit that bell. And if there are other ORC investigators or PIs in other subsections of the field, what are some things that you would want to tell, say, a new PI or people that are considering working in this kind of environment. Leave it in the comment box below. But that's gonna do it for this week. Thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care everyone, peace.